Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Well, more maelstrom depending on the season. But I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Example, they sit you in front of a mirror with a shaving razor and tell you to keep going until red and pink turns to white. How are things with you and Han working out? They're not. He acts like nothing happened. Like he didn't cover up the mayor's death. Must be tough. I considered him a close partner. Maybe even a friend. So yeah, you could say that. Didn't have any blowback? I mean, for stepping into the Peter Pan case. No. It's only because of us. Gonagal closed the investigation. They padded their stat books, so we're in the clear. And? How do you feel about all this? I'll let you know when I know. For now, I'm just helping out Joss. Enjoying some time off. Life should be back on track before long. Take care. Stay in touch. See how far that takes him.
Trooper Pan Am instantly knew what you meant back at the AV. AV? You've been feeling all right, I hope? Of course. Why? What's up? Just calling to invite you to Joss' Talk later dinner. then, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'd love it if you swung by. What do you say? Definitely a pick-me-up. I'm in a slump. Here I feared okay. you'd forgotten about me. About you? Oh, come on, never. Just been swamped. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss visits him. Relax. Don't need to explain. Right. So, gonna stop by or gonna make me grovel? Be great to see all you guys. Prime. <laughs> Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. I actually miss you too, River. I'll see you at Joss's. I'll see you at Joss's. Perfect. Till then. Then. <sighs> Everything flows. How's it going? Over here! Not coming? Not really my jam, picnics. But you have fun. Spinning a new song anyway. Rather focus on that. Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This is an ancient Ward family secret. Uh huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound. Might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning normal. As if you got a good night's sleep. Hmm. Well, wanted you to see this side of me too. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Oh. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Why did my hair out every time I heard him? And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... 
Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. Tomatoes are next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio? Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now. About Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. How my parents died. Oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But when now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll see. River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? Join us? What are we going to play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that spirit get away. Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even
even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and blood. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey v, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. <gasps> Watch out! It's his cronies! <laughs> hey, I have better aim! Not done yet! Next round, next round! This way, it must be their rat infested hideout. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Ready. Mm, but Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. No, <laughs> they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you too. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Used to be a nomad, but family fell apart. 
Years ago, feels like. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss. Well, why hide it? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? <laughs> I do. <laughs> v just voted. Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. This way, I... oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah, okay, good. Just push. Okay. Seems easier to open from that. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Yeah, I like where we are now. Right here, outside looking in. Away from all the urban chaos. Reminds me a bit of home. Got something for you. Your peace? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. Don't know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. In this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. Ever feel alone? Of course I do. But doubt I'm cut out for relationships. <laughs> I doubt you know who you're talking to. Me? I'm a master of disastrous relationships. I'll need some evidence. Smash one relationship to pieces, along with the fucker's jaw. Why? What'd he do? Said I was too aggressive for him. 
kidding. He had a side bitch. Caught him fucking between the sheets I'd bought. Poof. Classic. Booked a skydiving experience for this one guy I was dating. And he never came back. Ah, oh, V. I'm sorry. I know what it means when somebody close dies. Dies? No. No, no, no. Just fallen out of that plane, he fell in love with his instructor. Was only ever in love once. I was a shithead. Well, he was... He was great. But... Well, he had... Quirks. Between the sheets, I mean. Found that out later. Couldn't get hard without a mask on. Not the Venetian carnival kind, but U.S. presidents. A closet full. The hell? Had to dump him. Could only fuck Honest Abe so many times. <laughs> you made that up. Come on, you made No, no, seriously. Nice story. But it don't beat my last serious liaison. What did you do? I shot her. Shut up. Had no choice. Found ourselves standing on opposite sides of the law. But don't worry. Never made it a habit. I'm done shooting the women I date. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Just don't fall in love with me. Too late, V. Too late. Christ, V. Can't believe you're making me fuck a cop. Gonna go plug my ears, gouge out my eyes.
Hey. Hey. Coffee will be ready in a jiff. Uh, mm. Oh, Prem. Talked in your sleep, you know? Yeah. I dreamt of a warehouse searching containers in it. Warehouse must have been huge. <laughs> you were loud. Taste it. Best coffee you've ever had, I bet. Best jambalaya, best coffee. Mm-hmm. Come on, keep it coming, and... Just that. So, I've been thinking. What? Last night, you and me. Is this going anywhere, you know, longer term? Uh... Heavy combos first thing in the morning. Please just answer me. I'd like to know where I stand. This works, River. I like being around you. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. But if it doesn't work, we'll still be friends, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Sure. Yeah. Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. Don't mind me. And tell Randy I said hello. Oh, damn. Oh, sorry, V. Will I see you later? Yeah, sure. Have a good day, then. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. Hey, hey. Hey, V. Look at that. The hell? Area's not bad, actually. You've been feeling all right, I hope? What's it like, being a cop in Night City? Well, what's it like being a criminal? Excuse me, was that an accusation? Oh, what? Don't consider yourself one? I, good sir, adhere to a code. It's not my fault it isn't always legal. You pluck one lowlife off the street, two more sprout up in his place. Plus, unless you're the rare idealist, you take bribes when you can get them. And book cooking? Well, the amount of booze needed to drown your doubts gets pricey, but 
Well, that's what the bribes are for. Sounds exhilarating. 20,000 killed or gone missing every year. Not exactly boring. How are things with you and Han working out? They're not. He acts like nothing happened. Like he didn't cover up the mayor's death. Must be tough. I considered him a close partner. Maybe even a friend. So yeah, you could say that. How's the career switch? When's our new private detective starting up? I'm still finding the means. Hasn't been easy, but the biggest hurdles are behind me. License, equipment, software. It's all in order. Just haven't figured out how to market myself. Aiming to specialize in anything? Kidnapping. Randy's ordeal put a lot in perspective. Well, huh. guess that makes sense. Come here. You feeling okay? Not too pissed I haven't had the time for you. You got your own stuff going on. I get that. We'll make up for it. Yeah. Promise. As soon as I cut some dead weight. I'll hold you to it. Been having this thought lately. About what? Us. Can't get it out of my head. That you don't see a happy ending. How'd you know? I didn't. Maybe I'm just starting to get to know you better. Anyway, I... It's stupid. Rambling. Forget I said anything. Already forgotten. Let's talk for a little while longer, before I have to Delta somewhere. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Was nice. Nice city. It's my city, V. What do you mean? The city's people. People I'm responsible for. It's a... It's a complex pledge to perform a duty. A duty I... I don't want to run from.
might be. Hey, hey. What's up?
fuck? I don't believe it. <laughs> Who would have thought? I'll give you a minute. City's bad boy. Come on. 
Look for a little while longer. Before I have to delta somewhere. For you, I've got all day. Thank you, V. Hope it's nothing but bright days ahead for Randy. You never know with him. I swear, not since he lost his father. Pretty tough blow for a kid to weather. But after what that psycho did to him, I think it could change things for the better. Don't doubt it. Everything okay between you and River? Yeah, finally found common ground. Better late than never. <sighs> Silver lining, considering the circumstances. When I thought I might never see my Randy again. But all's well that ends well. I got my Randy back. And my brother, too. Hang in there, Joss. 